2017 Micro Small Medium Enterprise Development Summit and it's going to be a day filled with opportunities for the ASEAN region. So come join me. First of all, Rotary has a huge organization, and I think their focus should be now on MSMEs. As I mentioned earlier, um, almost 63% of our jobs come from the MSME sector. Almost 99.5% of the establishments in the country come from the MSME sector. So if you want inclusive growth, let's focus on MSMEs. We can utilize Rotary Club's vast network from Apari to Holo. There are Rotary Clubs everywhere to train, teach, and support micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, they can always ask a tie-up with the DTI. I would suggest a tie-up with the DTI. Uh, we're in uh, maybe part of the CSR of Rotary. will actually help mentor small and medium and micro enterprises. So that's perfect, even just in training. That don't, you don't even have to worry about the financing. Let government, uh, let the government and other private sector banks do that. Maybe just on the training. That could be part of the CSR of Rotary Club. Thank you so much. Senator. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, you so much. Yes. Thank you. The ASEAN Prosperity for All is geared towards bringing together the enablers who will create the environment and opportunities to empower and propel the MSMEs as the new engine of growth and prosperity in the region. From government leaders to gatekeepers of finance, markets, innovation and mentorship they will converge to bring msmes at the heart of the aec integration agenda an inclusive innovation-led growth and shared prosperity in asean msmes good morning another round of applause for our 8m secretary month <laughs> Senator Juan Miguel Zubiri, Chairman, Committee on Trade, Commerce, and Entrepreneurship, Senate of the Philippines. Senator Juan Miguel Mig Zubiri is a veteran, 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 uh, veteran legislator, principal author of major laws such as the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, the Rent Control Act, Wildlife Conservation Act, National Service Training Program, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines Rate Base or Pay Base Increase Act. He is filing bills on workers' rights, increasing the entry-level pay and retirement pension of public school teachers, barangay officials' monthly honorarium, retirement and benefits, SSS penalty on loans on donations, strengthening the security tenure of all, and increasing the pension of all retired government employees. Mike, again, thank you so much, Mr. Anthony Pangilinan, and thank you to our previous panel for joining us earlier on. Again, my name is RJ Ladesma. Very honored to be your moderator 
for the first end here today, which is of course the mindset. I know a lot of kids today that essentially want to be entrepreneurs, but they end up saying, what else am I going to do? Everything's been discovered. Everything's been done already. But this session will be teaching us that not everything has been done yet. We'll be identifying gaps and unmet needs. So I'm already back here in my mini office and I'm just going to show you stuff that I got from the SEN 2017 MSME Development they really had a very tight security at the venue and so they gave me this ID and they classified me under the category of media and it comes with an e-card that they had to scan before you enter the venue and it will show your picture and your other details just from which organization you belong to and mine is for free club of Chinatown Circle. comes with a flash drive and if I click on this one it will show the flash drive right here. And since the event is already done I can just remove this part right here and I, I will also remove the ID and I will be left with my keychain. Economic Community Blueprint 2025. There's also a shirt. It says ASEAN Fifty Philippines 2017. This is the ASEAN's 50th anniversary. got a bunch of reading materials. I have with me here Philippine Franchising in Asia. We've got Franchise Talk. Franchising takes flight across Asia. I also have Face Your Challenge. Grow Your Enterprise. And this one is by Asian SME Academy. So it's like a manual on how to access the website in order to register for the Appian SME Academy. And all you have to do is go to www.appian-sme-academy.org and the booklet will show you how to properly register, but I think if you go to the website, it will do the same. And this booklet also has a Filipino version that says, Harapin ang mga magsubo, panagutin ang ilong ni Bosch. And the thing is the Philippine AEC 2025 game plan. From local to global, borderless business for MSMEs. So this is about promoting your business and aspiring for a global operation. So I really had a wonderful time at the Development Summit and I really wish that the MSMEs in the country and within the ASEAN region will benefit from the event.